Hello, this is Jesus. This is a special message for the Project TV show in New Zealand. Four nights in the city of Auckland is uh, 2,600 bucks. $2,600, not for five star. This is for a very average sort of hotel. We know, mate, like we live here. I'm getting them. Hello, this is Jesus. This is a special message for the Project TV show in New Zealand. What have you guys done to my friend Archie Luxury? He is a good man. $2,600 for a four-night accommodation in Auckland is ridiculous. I saw how you edited and took out of context Archie's comments. You should be ashamed of yourself. If you think that is funny, I will keep sending Chinese investors to buy up Auckland. Good luck. And you have been warned. Hello, I'm Archie Luxury and I'm really, really fucked off. The Project New Zealand, they are evil, evil fuckers. They edited the interview I did, they took it out of context, and the feminazi bitch on the program, she was like a dog with a bone. Dog with a bone. I was running a comedy routine, you know, I'm, I'm a fucking professional comedian. I'm a professional comedian, and I, 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 I was running the gag that I didn't see any beautiful women. Bait! It's bait, you silly fucking left-wing feminazi bitch. It's bait. I was running the gag that, ah, oh, you didn't see any beautiful women? Well, you know, I, I'm just, I'm just, it, 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 it's bait. And I, she goes, why is that? What's wrong with the women? She took it hook, line, and sinker. And that's where I run my gag on how bad the weather is. I didn't see any beautiful Kiwi women because they were all rugged up. Scarves, fur coats, jackets, hats. That was my gag. So what does the feminazi bitch do? She turns it on me and says, Oh, you mean you're not allowed to wear what you want? What a fucking pussy answer. What a nasty, nasty answer. I'm running a comic gag. Work with me. And as for that other Kiwi dickhead who said, Oh, are you pleased that you won't, you won't be, you won't be, you'll be replaced. There's so many dickheads, dickheads, I can't even understand his accent. Dickheads that you'll be replaced very soon as Australia's most hated. And uh, yeah, when he was licking Rove McManus's ass, he wasn't so brutal, was he? No, 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 no. Everything's fine when it's with Rove. When he's on air, he's he's taking poking fun at me, the international YouTube celebrity and comedian and viral expert. No, he's all out to attack. Well, I've got a message from Jesus for you fuckers. Enjoy. You really and truly... Well, look, put it this way. I came to New Zealand. I travelled the world. And uh, I've come into Auckland for business. And I thought, fantastic. It's my chance to get a bit of Kiwi hospitality. Four nights in the city of Auckland is uh, 2600 bucks. $2,600, not for five star. This is for a very average sort of hotel. We know, mate, like we live here. I'm getting the impression that you do stand by your comments that you made on the videos. In which case, what is your problem with women? I absolutely love New Zealand women. And the only problem is everyone was rugged up so much I couldn't see any. So they had fur coats, they, they had caps on, they had absolutely everything on. All right, girls, absolutely you heard it here expensive. First. This guy wants you not to wear whatever kind of clothes you feel like. You're pretty much yes, yes. like the number one villain from Australia in New Zealand right now. Is it a relief for you that there's so many dickheads in Australia that eventually someone will take your place? <laughs> I love New Zealand. I love New Zealand and uh, I love a New Zealand audience. Thank well, you so much. Why do you much. travel so much, by the way? Is it because they can't stand you at home? I'm not just anti-New Zealand. I've got the Brisbane Sucks series. I've got Sydney Sucks. I've got Gold Coast Sucks. 
I'm here to tell the truth. Why can't you people accept I tell the truth? When you go to this I many international truth, destinations for a and you don't have a good time, Auckland? Archie, have you considered the fact that maybe you are the problem? i got to tell you the truth. I ended up doing an Airbnb. I had this wonderful woman who explained to me the divorce laws in New Zealand. I'm all set to trot. I've got a funny feeling in my bones that there aren't going to be that many Kiwi women jumping to take Archie up on his... Sounds like an offer of marriage there. I can't, I can't be quite sure. But I, I, Archie, if you ever do come back, I will give you a big, long hug because I think you need one, and I've got the softest I've got to tell you, I love, I love Kiwis. I don't understand how you people put up with this rubbish. All right, uh, well, Archie, I would love to sit here all evening and listen to you. In fact, I feel like I already have, but for now, we're out of time, so thank you very much, Archie Luxury. And don't forget, if you okay, send bye, a bit Archie. of... I'm happy to come and visit you okay, guys bye anytime. Bye. <laughs> Four nights in the city of Auckland is uh, twenty six hundred bucks. Twenty six hundred dollars, not for five star. This is for a very average sort of hotel. We know, mate. Like we live here. I'm getting the.